Will, what's your stress level so far? Uh, I had quite a busy night last night. There was uh, a lot of lighting, a lot of activity, and, um, and a front to pass through as well. And the wind was absolutely everywhere. Uh, had a couple of problems on board at the same time as well. I think we're good now, so. Yeah, busy. And at the same time, we've got an 11th hour just four miles to women, so you know, we're doing everything we can to, uh, to try and catch up with them, to try and overtake. Um, the fight's still on. I think we've got another 1,000 miles to go, so uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's been an intense fight for like the last uh, six days, I think, now. So uh, yeah, really cool racing. Um, but uh, yeah, figure out how we get ahead now. So. And what about your energy level, physically? Yeah, a bit of sleep now, it's, it's good. Um, uh, yeah, last night was a lot of work, uh, not much time in the bunk, but um, I think we're feeling good, we're, we're very motivated to keep pushing to the end, so so that's good, you know, that's that's what this racing's about sometimes, you, you have to push a bit more, but uh, yeah, everyone's doing a great job of it at the moment, and I think, uh, I think we're going to give it everything we've got to, to try and beat them to the finish in, uh, in Newport. So. Rosie, explain me your cockpit. How does it work? Yes. So this is the cockpit and uh, this is our working area. And from here we hoist all the sails, we drop it and we trim all the sails. Um, and as you can see we have a winch table with four winches. And those winches are all... Uh, we can all turn them with this grinder. This grinder is connected with the four winches. Um, for you to explain, at the moment we have a runner on the windward winch. We have the traveler, we have the main sheet, and we have a, a jib sheet. And you see here, what you see here is the piano. In the piano are 54 lines coming out, uh, and we can control the whole boat. So this is very different to any other boat outside. We control the whole boat by this. Um, so for example, we have the reef lines to, to reduce the, 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 the main sail. If we go to the first reef, we reduce it with 20 square, uh, 30 square meters, so um, it has less power. Uh, we have the foil line, so on both sides of the boat we have these big foils, but we can um, extend and retract them. starboard foils all the way in the water and we control it with an up line and a down line and actually in the Imoca this is a very fragile line because there's so much load on the, on the foils uh, and if, if it breaks you really have a problem um, for the foils we have um, we cannot only extend and retract it no we can uh, put more or less break and break is basically so this is the, the foil and there's a, there's a ram in front and if you put more rake, the foil moves aft and has more of a, uh, an angle. And that's what you see sometimes in these videos that we are jumping. That means that we have quite a lot of rake, that means writing moment and lift. So we, we jump out of the water. So we play a lot with, with this concept, with rake, actually all the time. It's a, one of our most important trim tools. Yeah, then we have all the tech lines. So basically a sail, if you hoist the sail, it has three attachment points. One in the mast, so we hoist the sail with the grinder, it goes into the lock. Uh, most of the time we have an external lock, so it's like a, a swivel and, and, and a bullet in the lock. And then on the, the down part of the sail, on the deck, we put a lot of tension. So there's like tension in the love to hold the sail. And that's all here, that calls a tech line and uh, a halyard. And we can trim the sail aft. That's the third attachment point and that's coming that's uh, generated by the sheets and the sheets they're coming from the from the sail they go all the way to the back of the boat to the corner and they come into the cockpit via rope tunnels inside the boat and, and that's what you see here basically. Then of course we have um, like uh, the, the trim tool so we can uh, put the sail in and out the sheet 
with the acre tear out or down or up. Um, and we have the archer. Archer is basically mast rotation, so we have a, a, a fixed mast. But on the Aimoka you can uh, you can can the mast like 30 degrees to have a more efficient uh, shape basically. You see all of these little balls, the pool. Uh, they are uh, connected to constrictor, so we don't have uh, classic jammers anymore, what you see on a normal uh, sailing boat, but we have constrictors. Like this, now it's open, and now it's closed. Basically to sail the whole boat um, solo. And that's a little bit the technical side of our boat. So if you see us like grinding and working all the time, like now, and we put up, up the traveler a little bit, so we have a bit more power in the main. And this is how we sail the boat. And the good thing is that we have so much space so we can work with three people.